Got a crazy idea for a mechanical tremolo. Welcome to Hacker Week. Inspired by my YouTube and podcast partner, Emily Velasco, I'm working on a mechanical tremolo that uses a potentiometer, slider potentiometer. We talked about this in a podcast a while back, and I decided I'm going to build it. So here we go. So once the drawing is done, I get in here and start playing around in SketchUp and came up with this nice little 3D cam, which basically has this little hexagonal hole in it and it will push right onto this little motor that I have out of a Roomba robot. So there's that. You can see kind of how it's set up. It is offset and it's a cone shape and so as the uh, thing rotates around, it changes its relationship to where the motor shaft is because it's offset. And then as you go to the top or bottom of it, you change the amount that it offsets. So I printed one out in yellow ABS, mounted it up on the Roomba motor, and I've got it connected to a power supply that I can vary the speed by varying the voltage. Now we need some sort of a mount for the motor. And here it is, with a little sector gear on it, because the sector gear is there so I can move it back and forth in relation to the potentiometer, and it will be moved with another gear that I print. And this will go on to the mount for the potentiometer. So let's move on to the mount for the potentiometer. Here's the mount for the potentiometer. In this area right here is where the potentiometer will insert. Right in that little spot right there is where a spring will connect. It'll go into this slot. A little pin goes through that hole this way and it will hold the spring in place. This hole will have a little rod in it that connects to the potentiometer. And then what happens is the rod goes in here like this the motor mounts over on this edge, right in here. So the uh, motor and the cam will move back and forth this way. Potentiometer's here with the rod here. As the cam moves back and forth, the rod moves up and down and moves the potentiometer. And last but not least, we need some sort of a control to be able to move around that uh, motor mount and so here it is this has just got a knob on it and it has a sector gear down here with the same number of teeth same pitch and this got printed out in ABS as well so now I can mount the motor to the motor mount like so And there it is, all mounted up with the sector gear right here. Now we can put it onto the potentiometer stand. So this is the main structure that holds the potentiometer and the motor mount, which can slide on this. 
there's the potentiometer mounted in there it popped right in really nice I just need to pop it back out to solder up the wires later on and the motor mount goes like this and then the whole mechanism can slide back and forth like that in relation to the potentiometer now I need to mount the knob that controls everything onto here but I need to punch a hole in this I didn't 3d print it because sometimes it's just easier to do some of this stuff after the fact so I'm just gonna line this up in the center of this upright insert the drill bit into the knob and hold it up there tight and drill and now that I've got a pilot of where I need to go and get all this stuff out of my way and go ahead and finish drilling it all the way through We can mount this up. I've got the hole drilled. I've got a bolt to put through here, like so. Just make sure that turns freely. Yes, it does. Have a lock nut to put on the other side and I can just back that out of my way for now and now I'll tighten this up just enough to hold it in place but not too tight so that I can't turn it Looser. That's what's nice about these nylock nuts. As in nylon lock. Nylock. There we go. So now I can adjust the depth of the tremolo effect. Like so. Great. All that's left now is to get the rod connected on here and the little spring that's going to hold this down that way. It needs to recover back that way every time. So here it is all together with the potentiometer in place. The 3D cam is there. It slides back and forth with the sector gear. Pretty nifty. And um, well, let me show you. It's got some. It's got some issues. It's not perfect. Didn't expect it to be perfect. It's the first iteration. So this is gonna have a spring on it. I'm gonna simulate that with my finger. The first thing is the motor mount's a little too janky, wobbles around a lot, and the wire likes to hang a bit on the upstroke. And I know why, because it is too small of an area for this cam to push against. See, in a car, in a car engine, that uh, follower or lifter for the camshaft is a very large diameter so it's more of a footprint on here that's what I need to do here so what I need to do is make this boss here a bit bigger put a cylinder in there well like a dowel kind of uh, out of you know 3d printed dowel and I can connect it to this much easier because I can just put a slot in the top of it and put a pin through it and if I raise all of this up a little higher what I can then do is on the bottom portion of this mechanism that moves up and down. I could actually put a spring down there that would do the action of pushing it back down. So when it's up, the spring would be in compression, and then as the cam moves away, the spring goes into expansion and pulls it back down. So no need for a spring pulling here, but maybe something here that compresses and releases. But you know what? That is gonna be in version two. So we're gonna wrap up this video right here. This is a good start, but we're gonna keep going. So yeah, that's about it. 
sometimes it takes prototyping like this and um, making mistakes. It's not really so much a mistake as it is R&D. You build a thing, you see how it works, and then you find out areas that you can make improvements. You make the improvements, then you do your next iteration. That's just good engineering. That's how it works. Um, so we're gonna keep working at this little thing. It is pretty cool though, how it wiggles around. I do like it. Um, looks like it's gonna get the job done. Just gotta come up with a better mechanism that doesn't hang up like that. And we shall. So it's time to get back to the proverbial SketchUp drawing board. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Be sure to like and share and do whatever. Or comment about why I'm not making motorcycle videos. I'll get back there soon, you guys and gals. Till next time.